In this video, I will introduce you to the curl command in Linux. So let us dive into the basics of this command and see 9 different examples of how to use the curl command in the Ubuntu terminal. So what is the curl command in Linux? The term curl stands for client URL in Linux. This command is used for file transfer and it is supported by the libcurl library. Curl command supports various network protocols and its common uses include file downloading, file uploading, and file troubleshooting, and so on. The basic syntax of the curl command is given here, which is you write the curl keyword or the command, then you mention specific options or single URL or a multiple URL links. In this section, I will show you how to install the curl command in Linux. Now, most Linux versions have the curl command reinstalled in their system. You can check the version of the installed curl using this command. Now, if the curl command was installed in my system, it would have printed the version of the installed curl. Since I do not have the curl command installed, I have to install it now. To install curl, you have to type the following command. This will ask for your password. Now you type the password and hit enter. After some time, all the packages of the curl command will be installed in your Ubuntu system. Now if you type the command curl double dash version, it will show you the current installed curl version. Now I will show you the different examples of using the curl command in Linux starting with the example 1 where I will show you how to display the HTML contents of a specific URL link on your Ubuntu terminal. Let's see how it works. At first I will write the command. Now I will hit enter. Using this command it will print the HTML code of the front page of this website which is linuxsimply.com so using this command I can print the HTML contents of a specific URL link in the second example I will show you how to download files under a default name within the current directory so let's see how it works so first I will paste the command here is the link so I'll copy it now I'll paste it in the terminal now this command uses the curl with option O. It will take some time to download the files. You'll have to wait a bit. The file has been downloaded. You can check your downloads in your Ubuntu system to locate the file. In the second example, I will show you how to download files under... At first, I will write the command. Now this will take some time to download the file. The file has been downloaded. You can check the downloads in your system to locate the file. In example 4, I will show you how to download the C source code of a specific URL mentioned with the curl command. So let's see how it works. At first I will write the command. Here I am fetching the C source code of the glossary page of the Linux Simply website in the file code.c using the package or library libcurl. Now I'll hit enter. This will fetch me a long source code of the entire glossary page. In example 5, I will show you how to verify the HTTP header information of the Linux Simply website. It uses the curl command with the option capital I. So let's see how it works. So for this, I will first type the command. Now I'll hit enter. This will print the HTTP header information on the Ubuntu terminal. Here, HTTP slash 2, 200. Here, 200 is the web page ID, which is up on the server. And these are the header informations. In example 6, I will show you how to redirect to available web page if the web page is already removed from the server. So let's see how it works. First, I will print the HTTP header information of the sample page of Linux Simply website. As you can see, here it is written HTTP 2 
meaning version 2 and the number is 404 this is the id of the web page 404 here indicates that the web page has been removed from the server now if you want to redirect to this web page which might be available you have to use the option dash capital l now i'll hit enter as you can see it redirects me to that website and here it prints the html source code in example 7 i will show you how to download files with limiting bandwidth in this example i will download the untitled design.mp4 file from the linux simply website with a limited bandwidth of 50 kilobytes per second let's see how it works so at first i will write the command now i'll hit enter so this will take some time to download the file As I have limited the bandwidth to 50 kilobytes per second, the average download speed is around the limited bandwidth. In example 8, I will show you how to resume your interrupted downloads using the curl command with the additional option dash c dash. So let's see how it works. First, I will type the command. Now I will hit enter. The file will start downloading. To interrupt the download, I'll press Ctrl C and the terminal gets interrupted. Now, if I want to again resume the download, I'll type the command again and hit enter. In example 9, I will show you how to find word meanings or definition of a specific word from the command line using the dict protocol so let's see how it works now i'll type the command and i'll hit enter here i am trying to find the word meaning of the word search The first definition has been provided in this list over here and sentence execution is also given. So this was all for this video. If you want to study further, please refer to the article provided in the video description below. Also stay connected with us for more command videos of Linux and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.